let's look into a third topic that is the product classification product can be classified on three figures first being its durability and tangibility second the consumer goods category and third the industrial goods category looking into the first one that is durability and tangibility durable products are the ones which have a lifeline to itself whereas tangible products are the ones which can be touched felt seen or heard non durable goods are the ones which cannot be touched seen felt or heard whereas durable as already said we can touch it see it feel it services are intangible perishable and inseparable goods the next category being the consumer goods under that we have yet again four categories first being convenience goods second being the shopping goods third being the speciality goods and fourth being the unsold goods what are convenience goods what well, convenience goods are the ones which a consumer goes and buys on a regular basis and does not put any kind of thinking or too much of analysis behind it for example purchasing newspapers purchasing soaps these are all under the category of convenience goods second being the shopping goods these are the goods wherein the consumer actually puts in little bit of selectivity and understanding of various brands which offer the same kind of products that is he would be looking into and doing with a little bit of comparison which includes furniture kitchen equipment electrical appliances etc the third category being the specialty goods here the key examples being apartments car jewelry so what we are saying this kind of goods actually extract or require a lot of purchasing power hence customers tend to be very brand conscious and given both the thought process and the feeling process while looking into these kind of goods check out the various brands evaluate them as per the pros and cons and then go and buy it and finally the fourth category being the unsought goods unsought goods are those goods which neither the customer wants to buy not thinks of buying for example life insurances ambulance services etc the fourth the next category is the industrial goods classification here we primarily have three sub categories first being material and parts second being the capital items and third being the supplies and the business services material and parts these are the goods that enter the manufacturer's product completely they fall into two sub classes yet again that is the raw material and the manufactured material parts for example iron zinc sulfur wheat nuts bolts chip etc all form a part of the material and the parts the second classification for industrial goods being the capital item these are the long lasting goods that facilitate developing or managing the finished products they include two categories installation and the equipment for example the blast furnaces the lathe machines the computers the fax machines etc and finally the third category for industrial goods classification is the supplies and the business services these are the short listing goods and services that facilitate the developing or managing the finished products for example the lubricating oils cotton brushes paints stationery items etc